Hello, my name is Kevin, and you're watching Learning Old Germanic Languages. This video, I'm going to be talking about how Old High German can make our world, how Old High German can make our world a better place. And it can, and I really believe this sincerely. There are, how many people who speak German? Hundred, um, hundred, um, you know, you know, 90 million, a hundred million people that speak it, probably more than that. It's a big number of people. And there is a difference in that, you know, um, Thing is, in the English-speaking world, uh, you know, we're taught from a young age about our language history. You know, a lot of people briefly know about Shakespeare at most. Uh, some are lucky enough to have Beowulf in high school uh, and what have you. And uh, these texts are, you know, uh, these works are, you know, celebrated and whatnot. And in the old high German, well, well, it's really, it's more popular middle high German. You know, with uh, the uh, Minnesinga uh, songs and whatnot. But anyway, I I think that Old High German can make our world a better place because, again, there's many millions of people that speak German, and connecting those people to their li linguistic origins, right? Um, like for example, you know, within the context of continental Europe, that. Um, you know, old High German. You know, by studying it, studying it, one can understand uh, their own dialect in a very intimate way. You know, in 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 some cases, they'll realize that their dialect still preserves Old High German pronunciations or spellings. Even, you know, it goes to show how, in some places in the world, how their dialect or their language hasn't changed. You know, and and in other ways has changed. So, so there's that uh, aspect to it. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, um, in in a very deep uh, linguistic uh, dialectal sense, as well as for people who have like standard German as their you know mother tongue, you know, even then, you know, Old High German uh, can help one to appreciate you know the its present form, so to speak, and whatnot. You know. Um, and, and and even in, in and going back to old high German, one can understand old English. Because thing is, when you compare old English and old high German, they are very similar um, in a number of ways. Yeah, the the words may, may be spelled a little differently, but the words are still well. Uh, not all the words are the same, but like um, a lot of them are very similar and whatnot. And because of that. Closeness. I mean, this is one way, uh, you know, uh, where we can see a connection that, you know, old English and old high German, you know, like uh, I can tell you from experience that there are times where I'm studying old high German where I'm studying old high German and I feel like I'm learning old English. You know, they're that similar. You know, there are things in there like, whoa, OK, this is not that different, you know, but there are nuances. You know, uh, I do have to say that there are nuances, there are differences here and there. Um, I have to say, I, you can't totally say that they're both like, you know, copy and paste of each other. No, um, there are some differences here and there. But further, uh, so yeah, when you know Old High German, you know, um, you know, for people who can understand their dialects better uh, and have a closer connection to their dialects, as well as the standard German speakers. By that, when I say standard German, I'm I'm really talking about Germany German, and I'm pretty sure there are other standards of German. Let's say Austrian standard of German, and they got Swiss standard of German. Um, but the funny thing is, when people think of standard German, they assume uh, Germany German, you know, as if that's all there is. Well, then clearly there isn't. There's much more, you know. So there's that, and what I like about what I'm doing is that I feel like in some way I'm a link between the English speaking world and the German speaking world. And I think old high German of itself 
uh, when I make videos on it. I think old high German can be that, that nice in between where English speakers and German speakers can come together, right? Because old high German pronunciation, you know, the, the W's are like English W's. Uh, the S's are like English S's, you know? Um, and old high German is much more phonetic than s standard English. Oh yeah, oh yeah, much more phonetic. Meaning, what you see is is what you say. Yeah, so, you know, and I really think, um, especially when English speakers uh, get into old high German, this will clear up or get rid of, um, you know, any stereotypes regarding the German language, regarding uh, anything German, removing those bad stereotypes, or what have you. And I think that's a great uh, thing that old high German does, it opens this new perspective, you know, as opposed to seeing German as this foreign thing, when clearly, when you look at it, uh, German's origins, you know, old high German, you you'll find a, a much more similarities than than one, you know, one will be would be surprised, you know, one would be surprised, you know. Um, you know, and and the other end of it, you know, for those uh, Germans, uh, German speakers, I should say, well, I should say German speakers, because I'm also talking to, talking about Austrians, Swiss Germans, or what have you. Uh, um, yeah, and, and other places in Europe that speak German. So that because Old High German is a little bit closer in sound of English, uh, you know, it can help their English in, in a very weird, indirect way, you know. So, yeah, I, I think both parties, both language groups, so to speak, um, can, can really benefit from old high German. You know, you know, us English speakers, we know about Beowulf, you know, old English is very vast. Yes, we are. Yes, there are many texts in old high German, sorry, old English. And yeah, it's, it's, it's very much attested. Yeah, it's quite attested in old high German. But the thing is, it's not popular, you know, like, I mean, you, you got the Hildesbrandt lead, but, but that's not like long as, let's say, Beowulf. So I think that's where the, the, the like, the new content comes in, where, like, you create content. I mean, there's enough old high German out there to create your own content, which is cool, you know. This is why I like doing my channel, because I can play with the language. There's enough of it out there where you can play with it. You can write in it. You know, you can speak it, you know. Um, okay, you, you you may need a few reconstructions here and there, but there's plenty enough to like to, to pick a dialect and, and then speak that, you know. You know, so, so yeah, it, it, it's... And I do think, you know, going back to the stereotypes part, I, um, I, I don't think this is controversial to say, but I do think that old high German can do a lot of healing. Can do a lot of healing. You know, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, from my observation and, uh, from my observation and from, uh, what I've been told that, uh, Germans, uh, in people, in people in Germany are, to, are, well, I mean, you can say the same about every Western country that they should be, uh, guilty for, things they haven't committed themselves or, or what have you. For those of you who know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> um, and I think old high German can help in a very healthy way, heal, you know, gain a sense of, you know, okay, well, I, you know, a healthy sense of pride, a healthy sense of honor. Uh, 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 when I say healthy sense of pride, I mean specifically a self-respect a self-honoring, not egotistical, but a self-honoring. You know, another way of looking at Old High German is to see it as a service to, to one's own ancestors. All right? You know, like you're learning, you're taking your time to learn uh, a language of your ancestors and whatnot, and, and uh, that takes time and effort. You know, so... Yeah, and I really... And just to go on again and again, and that old high German can make a difference, you know, making our world more interesting, you know, having content in the language, you know, um, 
you know, and seeing how similar it is to English, uh, you know, and the fact, and I, and I'm hoping more English speakers get into um, Old High German, as well as uh, German speakers get into Old High German because it's a great in between, you know, um, and when you know Old High German, when 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 one learn then when one learns uh, present German, you know. It starts to make a lot of sense. You'll see words. Oh, okay, I know where that comes from. Okay, that makes sense. And what? Oh, that changed. You know, and you know. So, you know, I mean, you know, like old high German. You know, how, how many people that speak German? What? Uh, you know, a uh, hundred million or more than that. And for old high German to not be, you know, prevalent. You know, not popular. I mean, that's a that's a chunk of like. That's a chunk of like of like cultural linguistic heritage right there. That's a big chunk. I mean, now what middle high German is popular, uh, you know, because you have the Minnesinger songs and whatnot, the Troubadour songs and whatnot. But like, you know, you know, I I hope to make a difference with this channel. You know, I mean, I've said this on my other channel, learning. Uh, pardon me, uh, learn, le learn and old English word, you know, I, I do these videos because I want to make a positive difference in this world, you know, because you got to have the thing, well, the thing is, I think of it in this way, language is a tool, and as a tool, you can use it for bad things to harm people, you can use it for uh, neutral things, um, you know, or you can use it for good things, to inspire to inspire positive change in the world and I choose language to do the louder most thing the last thing I want to do goodness in this world you know I want to try to make our world a better place and I really think old high German can do that can provide healing you know in, in the true sense of the term uh, you know to not dwell on oh at this point particular time oh my my ancestors did this and that or whatnot but why stop there you know go back further you know um it's not a crime to learn old high german it's not a crime you know if people criticize you for learning old high german hey you know you know this is this is my interest you know i like historical languages uh, who are you to tell me what you know what to like and not like you know, and uh, don't don't let anyone bully you. All right, you know you like old you like old high German, you like old Saxon, you like uh, old languages. Cool. You know, it's it's a, it's an interest. You know, it's a hobby. You know. But uh, you know, just don't let anyone try to like say, oh, oh, what a waste of time that is. No, it's not a waste of time. It's a fun time. You know. Um, it's uh you know it, it's very intellectual it's very uh it the value of studying any old language really uh in great depth is that it makes your mind much sharper it makes your you know anyone who studies an old language will tell you the same thing you know it will make your mind sharper of knowing what part of speech is what you know uh it it uh, as one person said on my other channel that um you know, learning from a grammar book, you know, forges one into a li linguist. You know, yeah, it's hard at first, but uh, over time it gets easier and whatnot. So, yeah. Yeah, these are one of these long videos where I, you know, say what's on my mind, you know, within reason, of course, within reason. You know, because, yeah, I, I really sincerely think this, that old high German can do a lot of good in the world. You know, when popularized, you know, seen as cool, you make songs in it, you can sing in it, you can have fun with it. Have fun with the language, you know? You know, it's 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 not, well, it is, it's not, it, you know, like, people have their interest. I mean, it, like, oh, how nerdy that is. So what? Well, you know, I'm doing my thing. I'm having fun. Who are you to tell me? All right? You know, uh, have fun. Old High German is cool. All right, old high German is cool, you know.
It's only nerdy if you make it nerdy. I'll repeat that again. It's only nerdy if you make it nerdy, right? So, you know, um, it's attitude. You gotta you have, a, have the right at, attitude towards this. You know, one should not, you know, be ashamed. Oh yeah, but it's, you know, I'm into old, old high German. You know, no, no, I'm into old high German, man. It's like the coolest thing ever. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's, it's uh, yeah. I, I like knowing where words come from and dialects and all that, you know. The thing is, with old high German, you can understand how people thought in, in, in a particular time, which is really cool of itself, you know. So, but the main takeaway from this video, because it's getting long already. Oh my God, 50 minutes, okay. I've been talking too much, but old high German can make our world a better place because it is that crossroad or th that rendezvous point between English speakers and German speakers coming together. And that of itself, uh, not only brings people together, but it also removes or destroys or what have you of like negative stereotypes, you know, um, cause let's be honest here. Let's be very frank here. All right. English speakers, when they think of German, they think of, I'm not going to say it, but you know what I'm talking about. They're going to think of a particular, uh, time period. Okay. Um, you know, you know, a lot of English speakers would, would, would think that, but I can't say all of them think that because, you know, no two people are the same, you know, but, but, it, but old high German can be that, that link to bring people together. All right. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you made it this far, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. And if you really like the channel, please become a patron at my Patreon page down below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.